right, so here we go with round one. Seems to be a throwback type of matchup here. The classically trained striker taking on the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. But BJJ Black Belt with this guy doesn't even begin to describe his credentials. It does not describe how good he is. His vast knowledge of all the jiu-jitsu positions. This guy, once you're on the ground, there is no place where you are safe. You are constantly getting attacked. He's always throwing up submissions. He's always attacking arms. He's always attacking your neck. Doing everything to try and make you think submissions coming, even if it's just to change positions to secure top. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice connection there by Nate Diaz. Not a guy you want to let get going here on the feet. No, because it's all downhill with Nate, right? It's the activity that will overwhelm his opponents, and this looks like the start of that. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that job. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Nate Diaz. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Big kick lands. All right, single collar time now. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch to the clinch. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast, so crisp. Oh, he heard a bell of the jab. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that you a takedown, or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you gotta be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. Good punch land. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check them, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kick, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. Switching stances here. Holloway gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to show up the defense here, though. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Well, now if you're the opponent, you really got to be careful as Diaz is able to find a home for that right hand yet again. When Diaz starts landing the right hand, you have got to stay firm. You have got to dig your heels in the ground and say, no way you're going to just run me over. Easier said than done when you're facing Nathan Diaz. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Under a minute to go. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Nice stick with the right hand. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, missed on that one. 20 seconds left. Holloway's lower jaw now is starting to show some signs of swelling. We'll keep an eye on that, but a lot of damage absorbed by me in here tonight. Huge, he lands. 
All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out? Any time is very tough. Any time you chest to chest. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there in round one. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after them guns and blazing. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. You can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big leg kick lands. Holloway gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Nice stick with the right hand. Just missed with the straight left hand. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Holloway. Nice stick with the right hand. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it in his pouring blood, you continue to attack him. Every time you land, you can see that it splits a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Oh, beautiful jab from Nate Diaz. If he gets that weapon going early, it could be trouble. Yeah, he starts touching me with the jab over and over again. And then when he starts to let that right hand fly, you start to see real big reactions from his opponent. Great match. Nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling could really be entertaining. 83 total strikes have landed for Nate Diaz and landing with 43% accuracy tonight against Max Holloway. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Oh, no problem getting inside to land that, that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. There's no tell on that leg kick. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good. Just misses there with the left. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice stick with the right hand. Holloway's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issues. What a body kick. Big, powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Seconds now remain in the round. Close guard. Oh man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations.
All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.